Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing another makeup video. I know I kind of did two of these back to back, but they're kind of fun. And I think I'm just gonna come up with new themes for all of my videos and try to like stay on theme and like try to look like a certain makeup look. And yeah, today is a look that I've been wanting to do for like a while because I always love this specific like type of makeup look. Pretty much the inspiration for today's video is gonna be the Victoria's Secret runway model look. I thrifted this sweater and it's from Victoria's Secret and it kind of just reminded me of like the old runways and like the old like fashion shows that Victoria's Secret used to have. And I kind of just wanted to try and do the makeup that they used to do because it's kind of given that vibe, the outfit. And yeah, if it comes out bad, like, oh well. But if it comes out good, then stay tuned. Okay, but before we start my base, let me just show you guys some of the inspo pictures of the Victoria's Secret like makeup. So I'm gonna put one right here and then one right here. And then I'm also gonna have these pictures on my computer. So if you guys see me looking down during the video, like that's probably where. Okay, but I'm gonna get started with these hair clips. And I'm gonna use them to put my hair back. I got these from TJ Maxx for like $8. I'm gonna start off with my matte oil control lotion. I'm gonna use this as my primer. I'm gonna use it as a base because all the Victoria's Secret makeup is very, very like matte looking. Because obviously there's a bunch of like lights and cameras and whatnot going on now i'm gonna go in with my elf camo concealer and i'm gonna use this on my eyes we're gonna start off with the eyes today because i don't know if there's gonna be any follow with the eyeshadow so i'm just gonna prepare by starting with my eyes and then doing my rest of my face i'm gonna go in with my morphe extra free star palette and i'm gonna use shade boss angels it's like this orangey copper shade it's really pretty I lied. Actually, I'm going to go in with Lynn. I'm going to kind of dab that all over. And now I'm going to go in with the shade that I just went in with on accident. And I'm going to put that on my outer crease. Okay, perfect. And now I'm going to go in with this little brush. And I'm going to go in with shade Boss Angels. And I'm going to use that as my outer crease shade. I'm going to put a little bit. Oh, that was a lot. But I'm going to put a really, really little bit. Because the eyeshadow in the photo is really light. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with shade Lynn again. And I'm going to dab that a little over here. Over the inner part of the eyelid. A little under and like shape around here. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the brown shade and I'm going to try and darken up a little bit of that orange. I'm going to dab it on. I'm going to do it on the same on the other side just to deepen that color. So now I'm going to go in for my eyebrows. I'm going to use this matte shadow brow and liner palette and I'm going to use it on my eyebrows on the darkest shade. I'm going to use that to shape my brows. The eyebrows always have like a laminated look in all the photos. I'm gonna go in with this Edge Fixer 24 Hour Hold and I'm gonna use that on my brows. I'm gonna use this to laminate my brows. Okay, sorry, I found this spoolie, but I'm gonna go in with this. It literally smells so good. But I'm gonna dab my little spoolie in there. I'm gonna brush my brows to give it that laminated look. Oh no, <gasps> guys, this is the concealer spoolie from last time. <gasps> Okay, anyways, we're gonna pretend like I didn't do that. We're, we'll draw that in. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Sorry, I was getting really hot in that sweater, so I switched into a robe. But now we're gonna start on my base. For the base, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect and the same e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and I'm gonna use them to kind of give myself a natural but, like, full coverage look, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go in with this little puff, and I'm gonna start around here. Oh, that looks a little yellow. Let me wait, let me mix in some of my concealer into my foundation. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm gonna put that on my nose and here. Where else looks bright? Yeah, like her top lip, her chin. Under eyes look super bright on her. Okay, now I'm gonna blend that all out with my puff again. Now I'm gonna use the puff to kind of sculpt out my eyebrows. Go a little in. Oh, I look crazy. Just hold through, I swear it'll look good in the end. I promise you. Okay, and I'm gonna blend out my eye area. Okay, and then now I'm gonna do my little touch-ups with my eyeshadow before I set. So I'm gonna use Mr. Diva. I'm gonna blend that back out a little on both sides. Okay, now it's time for setting powder. I'm gonna use Airspun setting powder. I'm gonna put a little bit of it into my lid. By little, I mean a lot. And while I wait for that to set, I'm gonna go in with the Cream Contour Palette from e.l.f. And I'm gonna use this medium shade and I'm gonna carve out my face and I'm gonna put a lot more on the forehead just because her forehead looks super bronzed and now I'm gonna go in with this beach cosmetics brush I'm gonna blend that all out I'm gonna kind of bring it upward So now I'm gonna go in a little more put in the darker shade and I'm gonna sculpt out a little bit where I want it to be a little darker. A little under my eyebrow just to give it more of a smoky eye. And now I'm gonna blend upward again. Now that I'm done bronzing up my face, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. And then while I let that set, I'm gonna start fixing up my eyes and the stuff that I originally had done. And while we let that sit, I'm gonna go in back with the eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna start on my under eye. So on my under eye, I'm thinking we go in with the Boss Angel shade and I just drag that out. Let me see the photo again. It looks like it goes all the way. Okay, now I'm gonna blend that out. Yeah, low as possible. And now we're gonna go in and we're gonna get rid of all that setting powder we had placed. Now I'm gonna go in with this totally plastic contour palette or bronzer palette, face palette, and I'm gonna use it to go over the same spots we did with the cream contour. And just to bring the more colors to my face. Go over my nose like she has. Bring that up a little into the eyes. So it doesn't look like a weird suntan. And put a little over my top lip. And over my cheeks. I think I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. one as well. And use the darkest shade. The e.l.f. contour palette just to bronze in that up because that's like the main part of the look. All right, so I touched up some of the under eye with this pink, pinkish nude shade in the Totally Plastic collection. And now I'm gonna be going in for the blush. So for the blush, I'm not gonna be using an actual blush I have because I don't really have like a rosy blush like they use. So I'm gonna go in with this Boss Mood eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna use this lower like pinky rose burgundy color. I'm gonna try and lightly put that right here. Cheeks my apples. It also, wait, let me see the picture. Yeah, it looks like she kind of blends it in with her bronzer. She doesn't have a lot of blush. It's like a really light amount. So I'm gonna be careful with this. I'm gonna try to blend this all the way out. I'm gonna go in with this Physicians Formula Mascara. I'm not 100% sure the name of it, but I love this one. This is the packaging. If you've ever seen it, get it.
Okay, now it's time to finish the look. I'm just gonna do the lipstick and I'm gonna use this lip liner from Dragon Beauty in shade. Honestly, I don't know. It says it's a lip job lip liner. So let's just go in and line my lips. Now I'm gonna go in with this matte liquid lip in shade Nikita by Dragon Beauty. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry down. All right, you guys, so here is the final makeup look. Comment down below if you like it. If you don't, if you think it looks like Victoria's Secret, if you think it doesn't. But yeah, here is a side-by-side -side with the picture. Comment down below your opinions. If you like it, if you don't, as always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.